everybody? So today I'm going to be showing you how to hip hinge. And so a lot of people have a hard time hinging at their hips. Let me show you really fast. Basically, a lot of people have a hard time bending at the hip right here. Instead, when they go to bend, they bend at the lower back up here, which isn't good. This isn't a good position. No, no, terrible, bad. But you want to learn to bend at the hip for basic human movement and for exercise for something like the Romanian deadlift, um, deadlift, kettlebell deadlift, they're all hip hinge movements that teach you how to get strong overall and to be able to pick up really, really freaking heavy things. And so this is how you hip hinge, how you learn to hip hinge without bending at your lower back because that's going to cause big issues down the road. So here are two drills that you can do. The first is going to be a hip hinge wall drill. Basically, you can see me here doing it, and I'm basically just gonna stand next to a wall, and I'm going to push my hips back and hinge at my hips as well. My back stays straight the whole time, and as I push my hips back, I'm bending over without bending my lower back. The moment I feel my lower back start to bend, I will come back up because I don't want to practice the faulty movement. And so it's okay, you can't get that far down. Go as far as you feel comfortable, go as far as you can while remaining neutral in your spine. And over time, learn to keep your core tight, push your hips back and get a little bit further down each time. You can bend your knees as well, but this is predominantly a hip hinge movement. So your knees shouldn't be bent a lot and shouldn't move a lot throughout the movement. So. The second drill is a hip hinge stick drill. It basically teaches your spine to stay really neutral. It's very similar to the wall drill, except you have a stick on your back. The three points of contact are gonna be your head, your upper back, and your tailbone. Basically, you're gonna bend over without any of those three points of contact leaving that stick. And so if you are bending over and you feel your head leaving that stick, that's not good. That means your spine isn't staying straight. And so keep your head, upper back, and tailbone on that stick as you bend over. And do these for a few sets for about, you know, eight to 12 reps at a time and you will develop that hip hinge pattern. And once you develop this pattern, you can go on and progress in deadlift movements. And before you know it, you will be deadlifting a huge barbell off the ground, which is just super cool. And if you see people that do that, you can do it too, but develop this pattern first so you do it correctly. And so you can load the barbell later on. If you don't do it correctly, you are gonna snap your lower back when you get to the barbell, which ain't good. And so I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you learn how to hip hinge and be able to pick things up for the rest of your life without any lower back pain. And that's all for this one. And I will see you next time. Peace.